Good morning, this is Alamon. Welcome back to Mountain Blade Florist Edition. Let's jump back in. So, um, I decided, I think I said this in the last episode, things just haven't been quite working out joining other people's armies. They just stay away from the front too much. There aren't any really good campaigns, or at least not any that we've been able to find. So, I think it's time, if we look at our um, inventory here, we have almost 6,000 dinars. And... Oh wait, I haven't left the army yet, have I? Oh, because I was captured, sorry. Yeah, it's been a couple days since I played this, I forgot. So we were captured. Um, we're supposed to find this guy again, except we believe he has been captured, probably. Well, let's go back to Almera Castle, just because that's where the last place we saw him, and maybe we can talk to somebody who does know where he is. But I'm pretty sure that when a lord says, I don't know where he is, that that does mean... Um, that the person is captured. This actually seems fairly safe. We haven't run into any bandits yet. Manhunters hunt down bandits, so they make things even safer. Um, I don't even remember what our guy was called again. Actually, I can check it here. So, Talbar. Conta Consensio Talbar. Oh, there he is. So, uh, our relations decreased. I didn't bother to read that. Um, maybe we'll return for a little bit. We'll give him one more chance. But if he just stays here for another 24 hours or whatever, then, um, you know, my, my, my threshold for leaving this army is going to be really low. Oh, time's not moving yet. Okay. Let's speed up the clock. Let's check the army sizes here. Uh, yeah, only 29. Let's just leave. Request audience with your commander. I'd like to retire from service. And we got 200 experience. That's okay. Whoops, no. Beg my leave. We do have a level up to apply. Um, let's do... What do I want to do? I think pathfinding and prisoner management. Yeah. We have a lot of weapon points we could spend. Um, so I have a good spear... So I could improve pole arms. I think that would be a good idea. Because points are more efficiently spent when you um, spend them on your lower skills. And one-handed weapons... I mean, now it's just equal to one-handed weapons. Okay. So we're on our own now. I want to go up to Vagar territory now. So let's hope that uh, nobody kills us. Actually, this looks like a... Well, the game is Mountain Blade Warband, but this does look like a warband right here. And if we can just get into some good battles, I'm fine with uh, staying in someone's army. So, um, can I ask you what you and your men are doing? So you are... Okay. Alright. I know I keep going back and forth on this. I wanted to become a um, crossbowman in a Rodok army. Just as like a you know personal fun thing. I wanted to do that. Why are you running away now from the front? You think this is some kind of joke? Mr. What's your name? I, I can't seem to pull up my quest log. He said he was on his way to raid a village. But then he just changed his mind. Okay, now he is in enemy territory. We caught a little glance of some Kurgit Khanate lords. Because um, they're at war with the Saranids. Here we go. So now he is raiding the village. Uh, there's somebody else's backup. So that's good. We have more than 200 troops between the two of us. That would take a strong concerted effort for the enemy to break. Okay, so when you loot a village, you get tons and tons and tons of goods. 
it can be a really good way to make money, but uh, obviously we did not get any share of the loot. I feel like that's something that they should implement, but just haven't. All right, so we're chasing somebody down, and it looks like we're faster, maybe? Nope, they... De Carafe Castle. There we go. Okay, follow your commander into battle, right? Yes. All right, uh, I'm going to change how I'm sitting. One second. Uh, the mute didn't work on the microphone. Well, all right, let's just jump in. So I'm still a uh, level two recluta, which is not the best. Okay, some cavalry are charging toward us. So I have this um, scimitar. Oh, I do have, I do have this. I don't think that I'm allowed to take prisoners though. Yeah, it's it can be hard to um, fight cavalry unless they are stuck in a group of infantry. Almost got him. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see if we can get on this horse. No, 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 no. Well, all right. There are some, like, advanced AI formations and things that um, we could try to enable in the mod options. Like skirmishing for ranged troops, where they uh, try to retreat when they are um, under melee pressure. Lots of damage. 41. 56. Um, I think I increased the battle size. I changed the configuration file to try to make it 50% um, higher than it has been. Just come on, swing your sword. There you go. Very nice. It's a decent army. 12 killed, 9 wounded against uh, those casualties. Wow. Well done, friendlies. Alright, let's continue to take everything that... Oh, actually, wow, the... The worth dropped off real fast. I was going to say everything worth at least 25. The rest of it's just pretty much garbage. Vagers and the Nords... But the Saranids, so the Saranids are now at war with, I think, three kingdoms. So they are going to be spread really thin. Not to mention that the Vagars are very far away from the Saranids. I hope we get promoted soon. I wonder if promotion depends partially on the level of your character. All right, 271 against 72. This should be pretty easy. So I'm just wondering, you know, I'm level 7 right now. Maybe I need to be an even higher level to um, be promoted to a, another unit type. I mean, all of this is fundamentally kind of a mini game, you know, joining somebody else's army and being dressed up as one of the soldiers of that faction. It's not something that exists that I know of in the base game. Ooh, I just took a ton of damage. That must have been a throwing weapon. So I'm going to stay behind my allies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That throwing weapon. That was a decent charge that they did. Ugh. Oh, it's a mule. Mules are like the worst, but some kind of horse is better than no horse at all. Dealing some good damage. Oh, all right. 
Yeah, this guy has, like, no armor. Alright, let's try to get a good vantage. Too bad the sun's so low on the horizon, it actually makes it a little harder to see. But if maybe we get on the uh, daylight side... Actually, I don't know if that makes a difference. But yeah, we've... I mean, there was no question, like, we're absolutely going to win this battle. It's just unfortunate that my character got knocked out. Alright, just one enemy left. And they are somewhere far away. Alright, and somebody got it. Uh, cavalry. Twenty-four, that's not bad at all. How good is this? Oh, 19. Yeah, that's not very good. I'm not sure why it's worth as much as it is. Ah, okay. I don't really like fighting the Kurgit Khanate because their gimmick is that um, they are, I can't remember if it's 100% of their troops or like everyone maybe above the peasant level um, is mounted because they are like a horde type thing. Uh, follow into battle. Oh, nine, ah, uh, wasted time. Um. What was I saying? Kirkit Khanate something something? Yeah. So battles with tons of cavalry just get bogged down really quickly. Because everybody's just jammed up against each other and their horses can't move. Things are much more nimble, actually, um, when you have lots of infantry on the field. So we're most of the way healed back up. So it said it's against only nine soldiers. Um... I'm pretty certain to get knocked out if I kite them like this. Oh, the AI is so bad at formations and deciding where to put troops. They don't use the terrain well. I was hoping to um, get these guys in a position where they're trying to chase me while at the same time, they're getting ruined by our crossbowmen. It's not particularly happening. Whoop. My shield skill isn't very high, and this shield's actually about to break. There we go. Well, that was fast. Javelins. I think the other thing is called, like, a Jared or something, um, throwing item. Look at that shield. Tons of stuff in it. Let's continue. Good. Oh, we have tons of room in our inventory. It's been a long time since we have been promoted. But this guy's getting into a lot of battles, so I'm happy with that at least. Let me try. Can I hit camp and then... Yeah, there we go. So I can make it go faster if I take control of time and then just hold control space. Because that's faster than the time acceleration you get by default when you're in someone else's army. Follow into battle. Oh, just against some deserters. Patrols are very useful. It says we're helping the Veluka patrol. Um, when you are running your own kingdom, you have to worry about bandits because the way that you're... Well, I don't understand everything about the economics, but your um, cities and your villages uh, get improved economies when the peasants are not being hassled. Um, you know, they send out and receive peasants. I don't know how all the calculations are done, but yeah, peasants are actually wandering around in little bands on the map. And when they get attacked by bandits, that's just bad. It hurts the economy. So patrols help keep your economy strong. 
and thus your tax revenues stay strong. They don't actually model population, though, to my knowledge. There we go. So I don't think we get any experience points if somebody else kills our opponent. Oh, that was good. But um, we do g still gain weapon proficiency for every point of damage that we deal. There's the last guy. I don't have any throwing weapon. Not like episode 3. That was glorious. Throwing a rock over the hill and just happening to hit the guy with enough force to uh, knock him out. Come on, cavalry. Take him out. Oh, you're so bad. Just give me the horse. You can't handle it. B Baron Falsavor. Arch nemesis of Truavor. Alright. So now we have gained a level. Um, I'm trying to bring up my character sheet. Here we go. Into intelligence. Let's improve inventory management and... Prisoner management. And I'm not going to bother with weapon proficiencies right now. Here we go, finally. So now I do want to play as a crossbowman for a little while. Oh, alright, welcome back. Um, he spent almost a month just wandering around. It was pretty bearable because I was able to do the super fast time acceleration. But finally we have a battle oh, against four. What's the point? But this is our first battle as a crossbowman, at least. So typically for ranged units, I prefer using first person view. It's an awkward time of day. Um, I can't see them yet. And I doubt I'm going to be able to hit anyone from this distance. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it fell short. And that fell short, too. Uh, that I couldn't tell. Alright, and now I'm way in the back of the army, so... <laughs> I think that's pretty much gonna be it for this battle. All right. All right, Barrett. Baron Falsavor just showing off. But, um, yeah, he is running into enemy territory, so I think we're hopefully going to get some good battles. All right, let me speed up the time acceleration. I'm glad I figured out that trick. So tapping camp and then holding control in space speeds this up. And now he's running back home. Um... Okay, now he's in a warband, so we might be heading off to attack a castle. Yes, it's under siege. Oh, it only has 85 defenders, though. Uh, okay. Ooh, nice big battle. 477 to 139. Should be a piece of cake, but we also should be able to um, use our crossbow a lot. So this is the direction of the enemy, so we have to get over this ridge before we can see anything. It's an okay time of day to fight. Not too dark. Um, yeah, they're like all on horseback, as previously mentioned. I can't see anything through these trees. Well, if I start seeing red bars, that'll tell me that they're very close because of the uh, you know the health bars. Yep, there they are. No, I didn't lead my shot enough. Things are slightly stuttery right now. I think just due to the raw number of horses. Okay, so there's a guy who's not on horseback. Headshot. And he's abandoning me. Okay. I'm in a bit of an exposed position. Yep. But I think overall it's fine. Oh, I'm surprised I missed him. 
Oh, hello. Oh, point blank and I miss. Got his horse. That was just a bad shot. Hit his horse. Well, there are more enemies coming. They got reinforced. Just can't see very well, though. Darn. Our target got taken out before we could get off a shot. We still have a fair number of bolts, and we were able to get on this horse. I doubt that we're going to be able to reload our crossbow from horseback. Oh, we can! Good. Oh. Our target moved right as we fired. There we go. Not getting many kills because um, we're just not dealing much damage. I think this guy's running. We got you. All too easy. I'm so glad that we got a horse. I wanted to make him flinch by running into him. There we go. It's important to go for headshots if you can. Overall, the head is just a really attractive target to aim for because if you shoot low, you'll still hit the body. So he's still wearing kind of a derpy hat, but that's okay. Well, it looks like the horse took a couple hits. Yeah, so this shield... <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> doesn't see a whole lot of use. Um, they are absolutely enormous and tend to have lots of hit points. Yeah, 374 hit points. Resistance is not that big, but it's good for um, sieges, for example, for running up to the walls. They can absorb a ton of punishment under those circumstances. All right, so we um, improved relations with a few people. So there was a surrounded army. Okay, we're probably going to lose this. Um, even if I were commanding, this would be some tough odds. 